This is a one hour bar workout to classical music. You will need a mat and a chair. This is taken from a live Zoom class. So some of the sound and quality of the picture is not as clear as normal, but it's still a great class. So let's get started and we're gonna work hard. Bring your hands to your hips and start to press your knees together and just take a little plie just to warm up through the thighs, through the glutes. Keep the shoulders open, abdominals are switched on and engaged. Big inhale and exhale. Just center yourself, getting ready for a great class today and nice to see you all. Now bring your arms up, stretch up to the ceiling, big stretch, make yourself open and then taking the hands down again. So big inhale, palms facing up and exhale. Again, massive breath in and exhale. One more big breath in. Now keep your arms up into the air and then fold with a flat back. Come all the way down and then lift up. Stretch your arms up over your head. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Keep the length of the back of the leg and stretch. And fold forward. Flatten your back, lengthen your hamstrings. Let's do that one more time because it feels amazing. And coming down and up. Stretch your arms open out to the side and turn your feet into a first position. Take a plie and bring the arms open out to the side. Plie, scoop the arms in front and open. So plie and in and open. Fingers are just soft. That's it, thinking about the whole movement, thinking about the lines of the body. Four, three, two, and last one, mindful movement, keeping the arms out to the side. You're just gonna open step, second, slide it back in, other side, out. Bring the arms back in, pour the bar arms. So stretching, bend the knees, and bring it back in. Big movements, yes. Inhale, exhale, contract. Inhale, exhale, contract the thighs and the glutes. You've got four. Slide those toes in. Three. And two. This will be your last one. Hold it back through the center. Reach the arms up. Inhale, exhale, lift up the left leg. Inhale, exhale, lift up the right leg, coming into that attitude lift. Inhale, exhale. You're feeling that you're exhaling, squeezing the abdominals right in to engage into your transverse abdominals. And four. Great, Nancy. And three. Stretch those toes, everyone. And two. And one. And now just squeeze down, pull down. You're feeling this through the lats, your shoulders, and of course your legs. And four, three, two, and one. Bring the arms in front of you. Now you're gonna take a step forward, bend your left knee, keep the right leg straight. Change, bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. So you're keeping that back heel down on the floor. Inhale, exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale, exhale, reach up to the ceiling. Make those movements expansive. Yes. Then bring it back through. Bring your hands to your hips. Take a grand plie, lift the heels up off the floor and then all the way up again. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now add the arms. You go down, open, and round. Lovely, Sue. Down, open, in, and round. Feel that your arms are touching that space around you. You're really growing into your space. Two more times. Last one. 
excellent lift up your left leg and start to draw a figure of eight so the knee is going open and then in I'm soft on that supporting leg just really get into that movement feel the fluidity of that movement and you're opening up the hips and getting warm already which is a really good sign now let the arms move with the movement so they go in and open in Four, three, two, and one. Back to your first position and step behind you and bring it in. Behind is that curtsy, bend the knees. So you're feeling that deep work through the thighs. Now add the arms in and open. Curtsy, keep the shoulders over your hips. So you're very proud and regal with your posture. You've got four. Great, Ruth. Three, relax the facial muscles. Two, and hold. And press and pulse. Bring the arms in front, like you're holding that ball. Bend that back knee. Arms reach up and out. In, open, and out. Excellent, in, open, out. Last one, in, open, and out from here you've got your curtsy step into second step back to your curtsy now we're going to add on so you're going to touch the floor down and open and down and stretch open yes reach into the floor twisting the body so you're getting the obliques involved lifting the other arm up stretching the other arms so it's really graceful yes so you've got four Stretch, and three, and two, last one, and hold it open into your second position, bend the knees, get down all the way, keep reaching those arms out, that's it, good, energy all the way to the fingertips, energy all, all the way to your toes, and four, Three, two, hold it down. Roll on your toes, roll it down, then plie and lift to passe. Down, roll on your toes, take it down, lift to passe. Down and up and down and add the arms. Down and up, down and add the arms. That's it. One and two and three and yes, four more. Reach up high, keep that turn out. Two more. Next one with your last one. And hold. Slide the foot down, bring the hands back down onto your hips. Big breath in, big breath out. Take up your right leg. Bring it in and open. Feel the balance in the supporting leg. Now, challenge yourself. Let's add some movement in and open. So the arms are going with that leg movement. Four, three, open up your hips. Two, and one. Bring it back through into that first position. Plie. Curtsy, plie, curtsy, keeping the shoulders over your hips and see how those hips stay level. Plie, curtsy, nice premolar. Just enjoy being with this music. Let's bring the arms in and open. Sometimes you find you work harder when you slow things down because you actually do the movements properly. So I really want you to focus on getting deep into these postures and stretching as much as you can and hold. Quick plies here. That's it, press the thighs in. Now bring the arms in and open. In and open. I'm really feeling my shoulders today. Breathing in. Ah, open. Last time in and open. Excellent, now from here look, curtsy. And second. 
curtsy and say. This music makes you feel Christmassy as well, actually. Cross and open. It feels very festive, like we're in the nutcracker. <laughs> and reach and twist and open. Four. Three. Lovely, good. Two more. Last one. Hold it. Plie. We won't be here for much longer. So you're holding your second position. <laughs> you want to stay in the curtsy, Nancy? <laughs> oh, I probably explained it wrong. If people do things wrong, it's normally because I'm saying things wrong. <laughs> Please excuse me for three, two, one. Then look. Lift and lower and up and down. Lift and lower and passe down. Lift and lower and passe down. One, two, three, four. Let's add the arms with the movement. And one, two, lift two more. Yes, Barbara. And hold, 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 and release. Now you're in that first position, stretch, take a bend forwards from the pelvis, lift, stretch, inhale, exhale. Two more times. Last one. And open and release. Are you warm? That was a warm up. <laughs> I think we're definitely warm. Let's grab a chair. Nice workout for the arms, isn't it? Gives you a great stretch across the chest. So let's start with parallel feet. So you're bringing your feet parallel, that's facing towards the chair, and the chair's in front of you. So I'm going to start today with my, this is my right leg, will be your left leg. So you've just come up and up. So working through that releve, press. You're stretching your feet right out and using the chair to support you and make sure that you do that movement fully. Think about opening up through the chest, sliding the shoulders away from your ears. Notice what's going on with your jaw, your eye gaze. You've got four more counts. Last one, and stay up onto your toes. Just be mindful that you are far enough away from your chair to bend your knees and come into a chair position so your knees won't be touching your chair. So you're going to sit down, keeping the spine straight and up again. Down, and straight legs. Every time you come up, feel the glutes are contracting and they're pressing together. The cheeks are pressing together. Use your exhale. Down, lift, and four, three, two more. Next one, you're going to hold it down. Small pulses. It's just like I'm sitting on a very straight back chair that's high. My knees are slightly bent. Be mindful of your lower abdominals, that they are switched on, and your tailbone is lengthening. You're keeping that length. You're getting as low as you can, and you're coming high onto your toes. Be mindful that you're not leaning forward, so it's not this position. This is very different. We're straight up, straight up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, excellent. One, now release, bring your heels down. Step back away from your chair and come with a flat back. Turn out your left foot to so it in a turnout. You're going to slide that leg back behind you, so lovely and long, standing leg is soft. You have the option to come on your releve if you want this harder. See how you go. From here, you take your foot forward, you drag it along the floor and make a massive circle round. You take it along the floor, massive circle round. Keeping the upper body totally still, you're calm, 
you feel like you're drawing a perfect circle with your toes. Feeling that perfect circle. Noticing the work for the glutes, outside of your thighs, abdominals, upper back. Now make it as big as you can. Really sweep that leg round. That's it, great. Now, let's reverse that. So keeping the turn out, you're gonna brush the toes behind, take it all the way around the other way. You will also notice that your standing leg will start to fatigue. That's normal, keep the upper back strong. So just isolating completely. Great, Ruth. Four more. Three. Two. Isn't this a great exercise? And one. Release. Now, turning round to the front, step out into a second position. Sitting down and bring the arm right in front. You're bending your knees deep into your plie. Now reach the arm all the way up over your head. Ooh. And lower down. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Sit down. Yes. Think about being soft at the wrist. Having your index finger released from the rest of the fingers. Four, three, lovely, two. Now hold it down, pulse and press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good. Two, hold it here, roll on your toes and down with the heels, on your toes, down with the heels. Lift and lower, feel those inner thighs. That's it, good Gail. Four, three, two, and I hold it up onto your toes. Take the other hand away. Find that balance. Find that equilibrium in the body. Now coming up, straighten your legs and down. And straighten your legs and down. So feel the glutes are contracting to drive yourself up and down. Inhale, exhale, add the arms out to the side. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Four. Three, excellent, good, two, and last one, hold, 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 bring your heels down and lean onto your side, you're going to be with this lovely kick out to the side, now from here look, come into that kick and then go into your curtsy, so you go sideline kick and curtsy, let's add the arm in, so kick and curtsy arm over your head and kick to the side, arm over your head excellent stretch feel really elongated open up that's it think about your toes think about your fingers making the body as long as you can this is your performance everyone show me what you've got that's it <laughs> no pressure <laughs> We're going for one more after this and hold your sideline. Hold that sideline. See how I'm leaning to the side there. I'm open with my hips. My body is facing to the front. Now turn to in an arabesque. So you go open out to the side and then through into arabesque. Look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? So you go open, present yourself, and then turn into that arabesque. Open, present, lengthen, and arabesque. Two more. And then next, hold that arabesque, holding your arabesque, reach, now tap the floor and then extend and stretch. So down, look, extend and reach, that standing leg is bent. Now come up onto your toes and you and extend and reach. Inhale, exhale, doesn't this make you feel beautiful? And reach. I always feel so beautiful when I do bar. Just, it's all these lines and these strong movements. Got four. Good, Ruth? Yes. Next one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it in space. And squeeze. And press. And stretch those toes. Find that balance. You've got eight. And four. Three. Two. One. And release. Oh, well done. Well done. Lovely job. <laughs> Should we come on to the other side? 
You've done so good so far. Well done. So having the chair the other way now, your feet facing towards the chair. Make sure you have space. Because remember, we're going to go with those chair sit downs. So pelvis position, really important here that you have all those muscles switched on around the pelvis. Rise up into your toes. And letting that classical music switch on your focus, your concentration. Creating a positive mindset. Warming up through the lower legs for four, three, two. Now stay up onto your toes. Okay, and then sit down, bend, just find that alignment. So feel that that tailbone is like a plumb line, it's going directly down to the floor. Then lengthen the spine, feel space between each one of those vertebrae, make sure that you have that lift, chest is lifted. Four. Now hold it down, small presses, small pulses. I'm getting nice and warm. I can definitely feel myself getting a workout here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your heels down. Now stretch back. I'm just moving my chair slightly forward. Okay, still parallel feet, hip distance apart. Watch your shoulders, flatten your back. You have the option to come onto your releve if you want to make this harder. Take your right leg, stretch it out. Turn it out so you're feeling the outside of the hip. Okay, switch it on, now drive forward and open. Now my, this side for me is a lot worse than the other. <laughs> so I really have to work hard to get it around smoothly. Avoid twisting. Good premolar. Keeping your arms straight back flat. You're rooting down with that supporting leg and you're extending and rising up with the other leg, taking it all the way around. Perfect circle. You're an artist drawing a picture with your toes. Let's switch direction. Changing the other way. Brush your toes. Feel that noise of your toes. They go along the floor. Shh. I hope you can hear it in my microphone. <laughs> really makes that movement strong. You're working against the resistance. Two more. Last one. And release. Coming up and turning so you open your body facing the front. Knees are wider than your shoulders. Find that second position. And making any adjustments you need to get comfortable with your turnout, just look at your knees should be over the second and third toe. It's always good to check. Sometimes I look and my turnout isn't quite right, so I have to adjust. It's about understanding your body. Your turnout might be here. It might be all the way back here. You need to do what's working with your body. Okay, not everyone's turnout is the same. Whew. Okay, getting down low. And four, three, keep the back muscle strong, two, hold it down, roll onto your toes, and down, lift. And four. Three, two, hold it, bring the arm in front, you go down, squeeze and lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, reach, extend up to the ceiling, keeping that openness across the chest, across the pecs, dancers posture all the time, that's it, we're being really mindful of the shapes that we're creating, so four, three, make sure every time you come up, you're contracting those glutes, squeeze them harder. Good, Ruth. And now hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. 
both arms up over your head, pull down, stretch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Yes. Four. Three. Great. Two. Two. And now hold it open. Press. Four, three, two, one. Bring your heels down. All right, hand onto the chair. Come back into that curtsy. And then look, you add that kick. And curtsy. Kick. Now let's add the arm over the head. So you can lift up over the head and kick and reach. Inhale, exhale. Four more. With as much energy as you can, but you're making it look very easy. So you're working so hard, but you're looking really calm. This will be your last one. Hold it in that sideline. Perfect sideline. You open your body up and then look, we turn, working through the arabesque. Open up to the side. Such a beautiful day outside. The sun is really shining here. Making all the trees look very beautiful with the few leaves that are left. <laughs> Not many leaves left now. Four. Three, stretch. Two. And ready, then hold, hold, hold. Beautiful arabesque, feel the center is strong. Bend and reach. Bend and extend. Find that power through the plie and then open, lift. Excellent, extend, that's it Nancy. Now look, rise up onto your toes, look. Bend that supporting leg and rise up into your toes. Make that stretch even bigger. Four. Great premier leg, get that back leg straight in one. Three. Two. Next one, hold it. And lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And. Just move your chair out of the way. Wow, <laughs> I've definitely got a very warm. Okay, come into a first position. From here, you're just gonna open up and then come into a curtsy. Open up, come into a curtsy. So thinking about the arms here. Open and in. And please, and in. Stretch and center, bring them in. Stretch, bring them to your center. Four. Three. Just two more to go. Two, sink down. Last one. And now coming to a second position, we have an arm section. So you're gonna bring your elbows in to the body, open up, and just push out. So I've got my palm that's it, going up towards the ceiling, bend the knees. So you're also working those thighs at the same time. Extend, get those arms as long as you can. The more energy you put into this, the more you're gonna get out of it. Is that reaching? Yes. Four, three, two. And now shorten, so press, press. Reaching through the fingertips. That's it, good. Great, Gail. Keep bending the knees. Eight. And four. Three. How's that feeling? Two. One. Now bring the palms in and push it back. It's incredible how much this works, isn't it? And push it back. Push it back. And what always amazes me about this is that sometimes it seems like I can lift all these heavy weights, but then I take the weights away and I just hold my arms up. <laughs> for a little bit of time and my arms are killing me. You got four, three, two, one. Push it back, 
and press. Keep the knees bent. Almost there, almost there. Let me take a break. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a break for your arms. Excellent. Wow, 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 wow. Just release your shoulders. Okay. From here, look. Just take your arms up. You're going to grab your... Um, so this is my left hand. It's on my right hand. I'm just going to come all the way around. So I'm just circling all the way around to the other side. And then I switch. I change the grip. So I circle around. And you're feeling your obliques and your abdominals change the grip. Take it round. Circular movement, you're spiraling that body, feeling a release of the upper back. Change the grip. And last one. Open up. And from here, just heel toe your feet and come into a parallel position. Slide your left leg forward, lift it up as high as you can. Okay, so the leg at the moment, we started with a parallel position. Now turn it out, bring it back in, turn it out. So you're feeling now how the turnout works from the outside of the thigh. Open and close. That's it, Barbara. Open, close. Take the arms out if you want extra challenge. If your arms feel tired from what we just did, you can keep them on your hips. Turn it out. Four. Three. Two more. Now hold the turn out. Reach the arms up over your head. You're going to lift and bend to a front attitude. Lift and bend. And inhale and exhale. Let's add on inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale, squeeze, and find your balance, and stretch, four, three, two, last one, and hold. Now bring the arms up, the leg down, slide the leg to the side, so you're in that turnout. Turn out also the left foot, that will help you balance, and now from here, I mean your right foot and reach to the side. So you're bringing your elbow to your knee. Going to that sideline work, yes. That's it, Sue. And four. Three. Lovely, good. Two. Last one. Slide your feet in together. Let's go down and then up onto your releve. Down. Up, releve. Lower down. Four. Three. Get up higher. Good. Two. And one. Now turn your feet parallel. Another arm section, but with parallel feet. Are you ready? Let's go circle. You're going to feel so strong after this workout. Yes. Small, tiny circles, but you're extending. You're feeling the movement come from the shoulder. Yeah, it's really coming from the shoulders, but I'm stretching wide, wide, wide. Now take it back. All these movements create such great definition and balance in the arms. Okay, that's it. Press, press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend the knees and you're gonna dive forward and stretch. Bend the knees, dive forward, reach. So I'm going to show you from the side. I'm doing this perfect chair position. That's it. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Lengthen the tailbone. That's great, Premila. I'm just exaggerating the breath so you really get the idea of when to breathe. You've got four. Three. Good. Two. Now hold that there and push back. So you're pushing those arms right back and squeeze. I know this is a real killer. Every time I do this exercise, it never gets any easier. Eight, seven, six, almost there, five, come on, four, three, two, one, and wow. <laughs> you're gonna have the 
strongest trapezius, which is going to really help your posture. Okay, so extend your right leg forward. I get very excited about strengthening the upper back because we need that strength to have a good posture. It's not just about stretching, we've got to have that strength as well. Lift that leg high and then turn it out and then bring it back. That's it, Gail. You'll, you'll remember the sequence, Gail. Well done. You're doing it before me. <laughs> Open the arms. Change your balance. We've only got 20 minutes of the class left. Can't believe it. Four, three, two. Hold that turnout. Lift the arms up over the head. You're going to go lift and exhale. Attitude. Lift and exhale. Attitude. That's it, Barbara. And lift and lift and. Four, squeeze. Three, two, last time. Now open up both the feet, turn out, lean over to that right side. So again with that oblique crunch, but still finding smoothness in that movement. So it's not jerky, we're in control. Think about the toes, stretching them out keeping the body open. So you've got that open hip, open shoulders. So thinking about the lines you're creating, the arms are lifted right over the head. Lovely Ruth, really, really good Ruth. Lovely arms, well done. You've got four, three, wow, two, and one. Oh. Yeah, strong workout, isn't it? Let's go from here, look, arabesque. Step, 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 arabesque. Step, 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 arabesque. So I open, I close behind, I open, I reach. I open, I close behind, I open, I reach. So get into that movement. Now once you know what you're doing with the footwork, see if you can just stretch a little more and tip the body forward. So see how the feet cross, I open, I tap it down, I cross behind, I open and then I stretch. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and perform. One, two, three, make that wonderful shape. One, two, three. One, two, three, last time, last time. And finish. That was excellent. Well done. Let's get down onto the floor. So you can totally move your chair out of the way. Just be mindful that you're not going to hit that chair. I'm going to bring my camera close to me. So come down onto the floor. And make sure that you are comfortable on your mat. So it's coming to a mermaid position. I'm hoping you can see my legs. I'm not wearing bright trousers today. But I've got my right leg in front, my left leg behind, so in that pretzel. Bring your arms in front and now you're just really open with the shoulders. Okay, so you're pressing your fingertips down to the floor so your back is straight. Now you're going to lift up that back leg. I'm just going to move my hand to the side so you can see. I'm lifting up that back leg and then taking it down again. So, see, it's not jerky. It's a very smooth movement. So, lifting and lowering. I'm just moving my arms so you can see. Keep the arms in front so you're in the center. That scale. That's it. Good. Lift and lower. Oh, Barbara, your cat. Lovely. <laughs> oh. Four. Three. <laughs> Sitting in your lap, Barbara. Two. And hold it up and pulse and press and reach and keep lifting. Don't let the knee drop. Good, Pamela. Good, good, good. Up. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five. Barbara, is your cat kissing you? <laughs> Four, three, <laughs> two, one. Now hold your leg up in the air. Now this is really fun. You're going to swing, swing your leg to the front and turn it out. And then take it all the way back and then lift it up. Okay, so it's just about getting this mobility through your hips and lift 
and lift to so get some stretch and finding that control through your center. This is a really beautiful movement. Keeping arms out the whole time. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Now, release. Come onto your side. So I've got my right knee down and my leg is out to the side. Try this with the knee down. And then if you really want to challenge, you can do this from your full side plank. Okay. So take the leg back behind you like this. You're open with your hips. From here, you kick to the front, kick to the back, and then kick up. So you go to the front, to the back, and then kick up as high as you can. To the front, to the back extend, and kick up. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, try it from a plank. So see how my leg is behind? You would go kick to the front, whoops, <laughs> kick to the back, kick up and then down. Kick to the front, kick to the back, kick up and down. It's quite challenging from your plank. Feel free to give it a go. So you have that break always, you take the foot down. Kick it up, well, well, well done, Barbara. Yes, <laughs> good. Kick up, stretch and down. Let's do one more. Everyone, one more time, front, back, kick, and down, and sit back through that position. Now, take the leg that's behind in front. Extend the bottom leg. Get into this supermodel posture. Okay, you're showing off your beautiful neckline, your shoulders. Yes. You're looking really like we're in the moment, and on top of what you're doing. Now from here, you're gonna flex your foot and try to lift the bottom leg. Now you see it's not lifting very much, but the power is coming from that inner thigh. Now once you know where the, what the movement is, you're trying to keep the upper body stable, press. That's it, good. And lift, inner thigh work, well done. I hope you're all right, Sue. I've got a lovely view of your ceiling. <laughs> Good old Zoom. <laughs> and I can see some hands. <laughs> you got four, <laughs> three, two. Hold it up and circle. Now, it gets really challenging to keep that circle going with the leg lifted. Feeling those inner thighs burning. Great, Gail. And change direction. Good, and four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent, now bring yourself to facing your screen. Feet are together, hands behind you. Now turn out your knees, your toes are touching. And from here, you're just gonna go exhale, stretch, and then bring it back. So it's a really strong stretch for the outside of the thighs and the inner thighs. So I keep getting cramped. Inhale, exhale. So I keep moving my toes. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keeping the posture open. And four. Three. Two. And hold. Oh. <laughs> And release, bring the knees in. Stretch the legs out in front of you. So you've got parallel feet, toes are pointed. I know you can't see my toes, but you will in a minute. So bring your feet in. Now turn out using the outside of your thighs. And look at my heels pressed together and press away from you. Bring the feet back, point the toes. Inhale, turn it out, exhale. Now you can keep the hands behind you, but if you'd like a core challenge, why not take the arms out to the side? And it also looks wonderful. So here, finding that balance and press. Inhale, exhale. 
do one more and then we will reverse it. So now, look, you keep the feet flexed. You're keeping that posture strong, you pull back. Flex feet, you pull in, point the toes and bring it out. So just challenging your mind to think differently as we reverse. Let it be like a moving meditation, feeling that music, feeling your muscles, feeling how incredible your body is, and what a joy it is to do these movements. Even though they're hard, even though they challenge us, it's a pleasure and incredible that we can do it. Imagine if we couldn't, we would miss it so much. One more. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? Let's go the other way. So taking the legs the other side. So setting yourself up. That really pretty posture, shoulders down, neck is long. You're feeling your fingers, you're feeling your toes. Shoulders are pressed down. You've got that perfect sort of ballerina stance there and you're gonna lift up and then lower. Notice if this side is different. I have a very weak left side, which is your right side. Now try as much as you can to lift without leaning, so without doing that. So you're trying to lift up without leaning to the side. As much as you can, it's a challenging movement. That's it, Nancy, getting yourself set up. Yeah. <laughs> you got four. Three. Two. And then hold and pulse and press. And... Oh, Barbara, it's so cute. Your cat is just right next to your knee. <laughs> Oh, four, three, two, one, stretch, and kick it out to the front, and take it back. Gliding through the air, you're just flying through that movement, feeling your hip. Floating away, these beautiful sounds, two more. Last one. All right, that was great. Now taking that back leg, bring it over the top. Finding the inner thigh. You might just want to give it a tap. Sometimes it helps just to, oh, someone's calling me. Sorry, it's my boyfriend. I'll just get rid of him. <laughs> and then you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And ready, lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. You had a nice break for a moment then. <laughs> You've got 10 minutes left, not long. We're gonna have a great stretch at the end. You've got four, three, two, hold it up, press. Keep the shoulders down, eight, seven, six, Five, good, four, three, two, and one. Okay, turn, face, so you're along your mat now. So you've got padding all along your legs. Now, point the toes so they're in parallel, legs are together, pointing as much as you can, and then flex. So just get that difference between the flex and the point. Stretching out the ankles, tops of the feet, and now from here, look, you're going to draw a perfect circle round. Let your feet be works of art. I always get jealous when someone has a really good pointy foot. <laughs> we have to just keep on working on training those feet to get that length and flexibility. Now reverse it. Just enjoying looking at your feet. Four, three, two, and one. And now turning back with that pointed foot. Drag the feet in, stretch, lift. Exhale, lower down. So your feet are incredible. You have a quarter of all the bones in your body and your feet. 
happens a lot. Exhale, press down. Because such small things. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. This is looking great. Good control on the way down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. And lower yourself down to the floor. Stretch your legs out wide. Okay, so your legs are out wide. Bring the hands behind your head. So you're just supporting your neck. From here, you're going to look up in between your legs. Take up your left leg. Take up your right leg. Swing over your left leg towards your right leg. And then exhale, squeeze. Take the hands away, reach in between your legs. Coming down, hover the legs off the floor. You take that leg over. You open, you lift, you squeeze, you reach your hands in between. You've got that turnout. So you go reach across, open, lift, squeeze, and down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, take it across. So you've got that work through your thighs. And of course, your lower abdominals and then the upper abdominals, you come into that V. Good modification, Premla, well done. One more with that left leg, going to the right side. Then reverse. So now take the other leg over and across. And. So you're just squeezing the thighs together. The legs don't actually cross. You're taking one leg over to the other side. The other leg stays where it is. Two more. Actually, three more. <laughs> Last one. Woo, I can really feel this. Oh, and release. Wow, that was great. <laughs> really enjoyed that. Okay, bring your knees in towards you. Just hug. The knees close to the body. Ah, we're going to do one more exercise and we're coming into our stretches. The hour is almost done. It goes so fast. Take the hands behind your head. Bring the knees over your hips from here. You go exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Take it across. Extending your legs. Thinking about stretching that leg right out. Inhale, exhale. And four, three, two, last one, release. And now take your right leg all the way over your left leg, bring the knees on top of each other, grab hold of opposite ankles and bring those knees close to the body so you've got that lovely stretch through the outside of your thigh. Make sure the knees are really pressing together. Open up the shoulders. Flex your feet now to go deeper into this stretch. Oh, wow, what a great class. Really enjoyed that. Change over. Knees on top of each other and flex. Big inhale, exhale. Stretch both your legs up to the ceiling. Flex and point. Flex point. Now bring your right knee and extend that left leg. So you've got a great stretch for the lower back. This is a lovely one for the lower back and hips. Just perhaps move your leg from side to side. Anything that feels good and natural to you. And switch. I like to get a bit of rolling action for my lower back. Just to massage it out. And now from here, let's do some rolling so it's going to roll up and over and then gently roll down and then when you're ready just roll up and over and roll down and up and over just as far as your legs will go down last one and release roll all the way up cross your legs Hook and press your toes under and then sit in between your 
ankles. If you can't do both the legs at the same time, do one leg. So you've got one leg and then you'll get ready to do the other in a minute. So if you're on that one leg, stay on that one leg. If you're on both legs, stay on both legs. Just to stretch out your knees, your ankles. If you're on one leg, change over to the other. It's a really good stretch for the tops of the feet. That's it, Gail. And swing everything round. Come onto all fours. Push the heels down. Hands come back. Wiggle your hips out. And rolling up, up, up to standing. Huge big breath in. Exhale. And we have finished. Thank you so much, everyone. If you enjoyed today's class, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel.